In the bustling confines of urban life, electric motorcycles and scooters find their ideal habitat. They excel in navigating short commutes and bustling city streets, offering unparalleled convenience. Yet, despite the potential, the presence of e-scooters remains scarce in cities like London or Los Angeles and everywhere in between. The reason? Many find the current electric offerings lacking in appeal, particularly the younger generation and those with an appreciation for quality engineering. There's a certain elusive quality, an X-factor, missing. Enter the BMW C02, a bold departure from conventional e-scooter design. With 11 kilowatts, 15 horsepower, of power, it resembles more of a visionary project than a typical production motorcycle. However, it's not just about looks. This German creation packs a punch in both style and substance. Dubbed an e-parkour by BMW, the C02 boasts not only striking aesthetics but also practical features. It comes equipped with a reverse gear, two riding modes, traction control, ABS, recuperative stability control, RSC, and keyless ride functionality. Set to hit the market this spring, it carries a price tag of $7,599. Opting for the Highline package, which includes premium features like a gold fork, enhanced graphics, an additional riding mode, heated grips, a smartphone holder, and a quick charger, bumps the price to $8,475. While not insignificant, especially for younger buyers, the CE02 promises a unique blend of style and performance. Powering the CE02 is a 15 horsepower motor with a continuous power rating of 6 kilowatts per 8 horsepower delivering 40.5 pound FT of torque right from the get-go. It's equipped with two 48-volt batteries, each rated at 1.96 kilowatt hours, capable of propelling the scooter to a claimed top speed of 59 miles per hour with a brisk 0 to 30 mph acceleration time of 3 seconds. BMW claims a battery range of 56 miles under the World Motorcycle Test Cycle WMTC. The BMW C02 offers two distinct riding modes, Flow and Surf. Flow mode is tailored for urban environments, featuring a gentle throttle response and moderate energy recuperation. On the other hand, Surf mode provides a more dynamic experience with no energy recuperation, allowing for coasting when the throttle is closed. The Sporty Flash mode is exclusively available with the Highline package. In a first-hand riding impression of the 2024 BMW C02, Cycle World took to the streets of Lisbon, Portugal. Starting the scooter is a breeze with the keyless fob, simply press the unlock button on the right handlebar, then the red starter button while holding either brake lever. The micro dash indicates ready, and with a twist of the throttle, you're off. Alternatively, engage reverse by pressing and holding the reverse button on the left bar while twisting the throttle. As you glide away almost silently, the torque from the air-cooled, synchronous current motor gives the CE02 a noticeable edge over traditional internal combustion scooters. Despite its compact size, it asserts its presence immediately, offering a smooth and responsive ride, particularly in flow mode. Once accustomed to flow mode, utilizing its recuperative function becomes second nature, akin to a gentle rear brake, allowing for effortless acceleration past traffic at stoplights. However, Surf Mode offers a more reactive experience, reminiscent of a two-stroke engine, with minimal engine braking on closed throttle. Adapting quickly, you learn to adjust throttle inputs for turns and enjoy smooth, satisfying stops, which also optimizes displayed battery range. Pushing the throttle to its limit reveals an indicated speed of 62 miles per hour, showcasing the CE02's instant torque and seamless acceleration. With no clutch or gears to manage, the scooter excels in short bursts of acceleration, making it a standout performer during quick sprints from traffic lights. Sitting at a red light in silent confidence, you anticipate leaving the hustle and bustle of rush hour behind as soon as the signal changes. Traction control, provided in the form of automatic stability control, comes standard, offering valuable assistance particularly on slippery or polished surfaces given the substantial torque available. Equally handy is the inclusion of reverse drive. Weighing a manageable 291 pounds with a low seat height of 29.5 inches, maneuvering the CE02 is effortless. However, for smaller or lighter riders, the reverse function proves especially beneficial, particularly when navigating backward on slight inclines. The CE02's compact chassis is ingeniously designed, featuring a steel double-loop frame, 
an upside-down 37mm fork, and a single-sided swing arm complemented by a preload adjustable shock. With a wheelbase of merely 53.2 inches, a steep head angle of 24.5 degrees, and diminutive 14-inch wheels, agility takes precedence in the BMW's design philosophy. Braking duties are handled by a 239mm disc at the front and a 220mm disc at the rear, with ABS exclusively on the front wheel. Much of the bike's weight is attributed to its batteries and motor. The batteries are cleverly housed beneath the skateboard-style seat, while the motor's low placement in the chassis ensures optimal balance for low-speed maneuverability. The upright riding position reminiscent of a BMX bike offers two-foot placement options, pegs positioned slightly forward akin to footboards on a traditional scooter, or pillion pegs set farther back resembling rear sets on a sport bike. Given the absence of foot controls, both brake levers reside on the handlebars, riders can seamlessly switch between foot positions to match their preference and riding conditions. Steering on the CE02 is responsive and impressively agile, with a turn-in so rapid it almost anticipates the rider's intentions. Despite its nimbleness, stability remains exemplary, even at speeds of 62 miles per hour. However, riders must remain vigilant as the slightest rider input can influence steering dynamics. The ride experience is top-notch, with the CE02 effortlessly navigating through Lisbon's cobblestones and potholes. Its suspension strikes a balance between softness and support, although the rear can feel a tad stiff when encountering speed bumps or rough patches at higher speeds. Notably absent are the typical jolts and rattles often associated with electric scooters, even when traversing rough terrain, a testament to the build quality. It's worth mentioning that the test model from Cycle World, equipped with the Highline package and an optional comfort seat, suggests that the standard skateboard seat might lack plushness. The TFT MicroDash provides clear and practical information, including mileage range and battery percentage. During a brisk ride around Lisbon's hills, covering 32.5 miles with 16 miles or 27% battery remaining implies a range of approximately 48 miles. However, with adaptive riding habits, the actual range could surpass this estimate, akin to adjusting to a fuel warning light. Additionally, testing the Highline model allowed for exploration of the BMW Motor Ad Connected app, seamlessly integrated with the bar-mounted smartphone holder, offering clear navigation through Lisbon via controls on the left handlebar. Overall, the CE02's build quality and finish surpass any other scooter, gas, or electric in its segment. It presents itself as a brilliant, charismatic, and enjoyable option for daily commuting, undoubtedly the premier electric bike in its class. However, its price tag of $7,599 for the 11 kilowatts version, equivalent to 125 cubic centimeters. And an additional $876 with the Highline package cannot be overlooked. Adding luggage and a comfort seat can push the total to around $9,000, roughly $1,000 more than Vespa's Electrica. Enjoying the quiet streets of Lisbon was a delight, with the CE02 offering safe and predictable handling, agile steering, and ample power for urban adventures. Its dynamic performance makes it a clear preference over any gasoline-powered equivalent. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.